Have you ever felt an obligation to achieve, to become or to obtain something in life? I think you have, or if you haven't, I want you to use that imagination of yours to picture it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what I classify as an expectation. Now, expectation comes in many shapes and sizes. For example, I need to win, I must succeed, and finally, I have to get that watermelon. Now, you all may notice that they have something in common, and that is the obligation to achieve it, or to obtain it, or to become it. And that is, you, that pressure added is because that you are carrying the hopes of others, therefore wanting to leave no room for failure. And to want to leave no room for failure, you push yourself to the limit, and you push past that limit. And you use any methods by all means, as long as you achieve this expectation. Even if it means hurting yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally. For me, that's exactly what's happening at the moment. Now, I've always wanted to become the perfect daughter for my parents. However, I'm not smart, I'm not athletic, and I'm certainly not good at socializing, which explains why I can count the numbers of my friends just by using my fingers. And finally, I'm ugly. Now, beauty, in my opinion, is not by having a heart-shaped face. It's not by having thick, luscious hair. It's not by having an perfectly arched brows, or large eyes, or long eyelashes, or having thick lips. But it is by being skinny. And as you can see, back then, or now, I am none of that. Therefore, classifying myself as ugly. And because of that, I feel like a failure to my parents. And I would always compare myself with other girls, whether they be my sibling, my friends, my relatives, or people I see on the streets. And then I would compare them to me, which is the girl on the left, fat. And then I would remember the reflection I see every single day on the mirror, the girl staring back at me with all those rolls and excess fat on her. She looks so dull, depressing, ugly, and unapproachable, the total opposite of what I strive for. Now, it wasn't always like this. I used to be happy. I loved eating, and eating was what I did because that was what made me happy. However, people constantly tell me that I would become prettier if I was skinnier. People would like me if I was skinnier. And I didn't believe it back then because as a child, I didn't care what others thought of me, but as I grew up, I became more anxious. I cared more about what others think, and that I would remember myself in my parents' eyes. Am I really that much of a failure to them? Therefore, I started dieting. However, not the dieting that you all think. I would starve myself, drink protein shake for breakfast, or just starve all the way till dinner, before proceeding to eat as little as possible but sometimes I would give in to my cravings, and when I do, guilt would start to overwhelm me after consuming that food, and I would starve myself even more for on the continuous days to come. However, after a year of using this diet, I've become slimmer, not by a lot, but definitely noticeable. People who know me from the past, back in my chubbier days, would come to me and complimented me. My mom's friends complimented me. They would give me a good pat on the shoulder and encourage me to continue doing what I was doing to myself. But little did they know that I was miserable. I, I was having depression because I cry at night and I starve during the day because I hated the way I look. I hated myself. I hate myself for putting myself through this diet. I hate myself for wasting food. I hate myself for lying to my parents about my diet and finally for being so sad and pathetic enough to be here in the first place. However, it's not just that. I do try in my other situations. I study during my free time. However, every time my exam results come back to me, I find myself in the exact same place as I was in the last exam, disappointed because it was not the result that I was hoping for. And I would pray that my next attempt would be more successful, only to find myself going around and around in circles and loops, and I become more miserable as I continue to study. Next, I hate exercising in front of people. 
because I have so much fat on me and when I exercise, all these fat would jiggle. That sounds so unappealing and I'm scared of what people might think of me when I do the exercise. Will they think, oh look at that fat girl, look at what she's doing, oh my gosh, look at her jiggle like a jelly. That's certainly not what I want. And whenever I think about it, I would try to avoid as much movement as I can in public just so that people won't judge me, but they probably won't care, but that's what I would think. And finally, I'm just not good at socializing. Whenever I try to approach people just to say a simple hi, my brain would stop me. And they, it, it would start to put me through a situation that probably won't even happen in real life. But the voice inside of my head would tell me, what if it does? And I would believe it. And then my approach to people would just stop. I would take a few steps back and just sit down, preventing me from making any friends at all. I know it's sad and pathetic. I know that I am, but honestly, I'm trying my best. The reason why I feel the obligation to be the perfect daughter is because of I always think of how hard my parents work to make my life better, to make my future brighter. Yet I am such a failure to them. Am I wasting all their efforts? And that I would compare myself with other kids. Why can't I be more like them? But I'm not, no matter how hard I'm trying. And then I would put myself in scenarios where my parents have to introduce me to the people who they know. Imagine the embarrassment that they have to introduce me, this disappointment, this failure as their daughter. It's just so sad and I hate myself. My point is that expectations can motivate you in life, but because of the pressure added that comes along with expectations, it can often push you so much the point that where you crumble underneath these pressures. And that's what's happened to me, but anyone can become a victim of expectations because they're so common these days. So my takeaway points are, one, Always make sure that your goals are yours alone, not because of what others want from you. Two, take the right steps. Never allow yourself to fall or take, make wrong decisions because you feel like it is the only way because it is never the only way. There are always better solutions to these situations. Three, be patient. Never rush things because when you do that, you tend to make all the wrong choices and that will go against number two. Number four, Always strive to be better, but never go overboard because when you add the expectations, you add the pressure, therefore making you crumble more easily. And finally, be happy with who you are because who cares what others think of you as long as you're not hurting anybody. Just be you.